Close your eyes. Think thoughts of goodwill. Start with goodwill for yourself. Remind yourself of the kind of happiness you want. You want something that's solid and lasting. Something without a lot of drawbacks. A happiness you can trust. You look outside at the world. There's not much solid out there. You look inside your mind and there's nothing much solid here yet. But the Buddha said there is a possibility of developing good concentration. Something you can learn how to depend on. So focus your attention in here. And as for the stories of the world outside, you can let them go for the time being. Because they're primarily stories about other people. They may involve you a little bit. But ultimately, your main story is here inside, what the mind tells itself. You can sit here perfectly fine, but your mind is telling you all kinds of things that can make you miserable. So a large part of learning how to meditate properly is learning how to talk to yourself properly. To give yourself encouragement when you're down. To rein you in when the mind is beginning to get a little bit too unruly. In other words, learn how to be your own best friend. All too often the things we say to ourselves are the kinds of things an enemy would say to us. Get us discouraged, get us impatient, getting us to do things that are going to be for our long-term harm and suffering. So train the voices in your mind. Right now train them to get interested in the breath. Get interested in getting the mind to settle down right here. Have some respect for concentration. Respect for the potential of the mind to get settled down. You're not easily discouraged by any distractions that come along. Just stick with it, stick with it. When the results begin to come, okay, it's going to be easier to talk to yourself. But in the meantime, you have to train the mind to be very careful about what it says and what you pay attention to. Sometimes it'll say crazy things and it doesn't want to stop. Okay, you say, I'm not going to pay attention to you then. Go off and stay by the breath. And after a while, when you're not paying attention to the craziness, then it goes away. So remember, a lot of the problems that we have in the world are, come from the way we talk to ourselves. And so the Bodhi gives you good examples on how you should talk to yourself the kinds of questions you should ask yourself, the kinds of answers you should be looking for. Learn how to adopt his standards for good conversation inside your mind. And you find that the mind does become its own best friend. It shows genuine goodwill for itself.